Nation, the Bahamas Bowl. It pulled back a bit. Games are not only a reward for how you played in the regular season, but can be a springboard into next year as well. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the South Alabama Jaguars, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Kennesaw State Owls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis. David with Pollock and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Here's the return from inside his tent. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Jaguars' offense will get the first swing of the game. And not only is this guy the energy and the engine of the offense, there's a certain charisma that he has that sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. It just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs looking at him and believing in him to lead offense down the field towards scoring points. This guy is a leader in every sense of the word. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He'll be stopped short. Picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Jaguars will line up to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. So Kennesaw State's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. First down here for the offense. Power football with the run. One thing I've noticed from talking to coaches about their approach to bowl games is how many of them use it as a springboard for next season. They try to focus on developing some of the new guys, maybe, that have joined them for the bowl practice. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Kennesaw State right back to work. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. The offense set for a first down play. They'll run it from the gun. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Looking for a crease. It's Malone. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. Wide out in motion. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. And the freshman does a great job using his technique in getting the man on the ground. Got three on first down at second and seven. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. To the air. It's Davenport. Throws to the tight end. Fires and pick off. Got some room to run. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking up the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down and you'll see them trying to catch it. Looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking up the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. They are set up in plus territory this time. 
And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. That's caught. It's Sims. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. The give on the inside. They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play. Balls at the 25. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. David, given the fact that you are a devoted helmet head, I'm not sure that you're aware there are a lot of other festivities around the bowl game. Did you ever experience any of that? Of course I'm a helmet head. Yeah, spot on. Agree with that. But here's the thing. We did a meat-eating contest at the Outback Bowl my senior year. Which squad could eat more steak? from Outback. It was absolutely amazing. So I experienced that in all of its form. Second and ten. He'll throw again. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Pass rush. Gets there. Gets home. Gets him down at the 23. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. And the field goal unit is on the field. from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt it. And, Paul, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this drive. Keeps it and gets past the chains. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. Single back formation, and they give it to him. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. The Jaguars come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Thomas. And he laid the lumber to stop it from getting the first down. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He lost it high and deep down the left side. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. in the red zone here on second down. Dropping back, it's Davenport. He makes a grab. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, South Alabama. Up and over, Yabo be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. An 84-yard drive there. 
and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Slips through the line. He's got an alley. Can they catch it? Kennesaw State on top. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Returner's going to try to see what he can get. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. South Alabama has it back to Jaguar off going to work. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the ball. Fires in the trap and picked off. The sudden change on the turnover. Man, he was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. Trying to find his man on first down. He's got his man. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season, throughout your career, and it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played. But it was special to take the field with your guys one more time. But playing in games that had so much history. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. point they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10 kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go he'll start the return inside his five he was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20 the jaguars offense ready to go back to work one of the most valuable things a quarterback can have david short term memory just forget that last pick you're dang right clear the mechanism it's over and move it behind some players can't do that real well and it leads to more mistakes jesse you gotta just forget about it and move on. And i think the coaching staff can help him too david i think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws they work their way to the 35 yard line it's a gain of five they'll snap it on first down from the 35. they'll ride the hot hand and they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. 
And the Jaguars want to pick up the tempo. They're going to test the right side with this one. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Now they'll run the draw. At the 45 on his way. Knocked off his feet. Really nice play call there on second and long by the offensive coordinator. He was able to get a lot of that yardage back by running the football. And now, of course, it sets up a third and manageable situation. Wants to throw on third. Zings it complete to the right. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. The Jaguars come to the line with a new set of downs. Steps away to find some room. He'll pull it down. He's brought down, but not before he turned that into a positive play and picked up a few on the run. Let's see what they've got on second down. Back to throw. It's Davenport. Finds his man down the middle. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. His drive was clicking along, but now it's second and 14. He's looking to throw. And that is interception number three on the day. Bringing it back. Past the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the score. There it is. But it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for. And then you jump the route and you make the play and you just go get it. So it is so beautiful. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he's coming out of the end zone. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. they got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet. But I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers in this game. I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time when you see my defense. I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. This one's complete. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water balls, man. You can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. Back to throw, it's Davenport. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. The Jaguars will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. This has been an impressive first half, and Jesse did love nothing better than to tack another one on before the break. Why would they want to stop at this point? Everything they've dialed up, they've been able to execute, throwing and running the football. And how critical is it for this defense to get a stop down right now? They can create some momentum on their side by getting a stop before the half. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. He's going to pass. Using the quick game. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. They'll line up for a second down play. He looks that one in nicely. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play. Able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Wideouts all wadded up in a bunch. It'll be a draw. 
Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Find his tight end. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. He's going to fire deep. Pulls it in inside the 10. And he'll take it in and house it. You don't give a hoop. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. point will tack another one onto this lead they took it 71 yards down the field and they top it off with a 31 yard toss for six on the move from inside his five he was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18 south alabama has it back the jaguar offense going to work they face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, Reese. A first half spent in paradise. And in many ways, this Bahamas Bowl has lived up to expectations. It's been a fun start to this one. And this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead. And unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. With that said, let's send it back to Reese and the guys for the conclusion of the Bahamas Bowl. And he's coming out of the end zone. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. He's up to 51 yards rushing in this win, and he is well on his way to a 1,500-yard season. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads it left. It's caught downfield. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. Got stuck on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. Can't get him to the ground. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Using his legs to buy some time. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. And come on now, O-line, you guys to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you, he's the one who takes you to meals, he's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. You gotta keep him upright. That is your number one priority. Second down now after the sack. He's looking to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to escape and get it himself. 
tackled there by the defense. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. When you got third in this long, everybody knows what's coming. It's going to be a pass. Defense alignment get to tee off. They know exactly what's coming. Go get the quarterback. It is your dream. That is what you live for. It's what you practice in the offseason for. I want sacks just like that. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Punt goes out of bounds and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. The run from the shotgun. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It's first down from their own 23-yard line. From the gun, Gibb on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second along from the 21. Quickly complete. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive. Trailing by multiple possessions. And it's getting another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. He couldn't quite get loose on that return. But he'd already made the play. And they've got it at the 35. And defensive backs, you think, going up with hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. Would you say that's why he played defense? Because you don't hands? Yeah. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the field. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. He now has 72 yards rushing, and he gets closer and closer to a 1,500-yard season. He'll pull it on the read. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. A little screen to the running back. And that did not work. Defense smelled that one out from the beginning. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. At the end of the quarter, it's Kennesaw State on top. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. They'll try to start this final period by putting a three spot on the board. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger. He'll bring it out. It's Malone. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The Jaguars' offense ready to go back to work. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more should have ran a better route. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Looking to throw for it. 
Short gain on the completion. Good footwork. Gets him the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Corners showing press. They want to be physical here. And the Jaguars getting set on first and ten. The short hand. It's Samuel. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Out of the backfield, he's open. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got it up for the first down. Looking downfield, it's Davenport. Gets it out quickly. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. They're going to throw it again. Throws it in. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Off the bootleg. Wants to throw it. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up. Getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. The Jaguars are in the red zone. They'll try to get the first through the air. And he was going for the touchdown there. They couldn't make the connection. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. And he's going to be batted down. They'll turn it over on down. Line gets set, first down. Give to Brown. Just gets it to the 28, pick up a one. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And he's still running after the move. That defense got gassed, but they finally get it to the turf at the 47. And third and one, you know they're running the football. It's just a matter of who's getting it and where they're going. But this offense, it really didn't matter. Nice job up front. Nice execution. Picking up not only the one, making it an even bigger play and getting the first down. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Right back to him on the ground. And with that, the chain game will get busy. First down, Kennesaw State. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll give it to the back. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. This one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. You've got to give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.